Sean Fouche already knows what I'm going to say, and it's that you're bad, do not test the Lord thy God, you're encouraging people to spread COVID-19 by, by telling them that they're going to be healed. Like you're making, you're posting videos of people getting healed to prove that you testing the Lord, your God was a good idea. And you already know that. Wait, is Sean even listening? Probably not because I mentioned the titty mount. Okay. The titty mount came f from a recording I made after I did my hunger strike. I was I did a hunger strike and I got a lot of attention and then I came home and um, I was told to make an audio recording and to talk for a really long time because I was getting spied on by a lot of people and I would take up their time if I did it. So I recorded like 20 hours of audio and during the, the recording I talked about how I'm a clone and how I've lived all these lives. And in my past lives, I've had different wives. And I, I was like, I'm gonna take over Jerusalem and I'm gonna take up residence on the, on the Temple Mount and I'm gonna have a party and everyone who's good enough to make the Temple, the Titty Mount gets to come and have breast milk from my wives because I'm gonna impregnate all of them. Well, not, not their breast milk, we're gonna make ice cream with the breast milk. And then, because I actually think it would be delicious, you know, uh, it probably would be because like why is it why are we so comfortable with milk from a cow but we're uncomfortable with milk from a breast I've never had it but um it, okay so anyways if you if you don't make the temp, temple mount um, like Sean hasn't made the communion list um, but but if you don't make like but a lot of people are on the temple mount like Katy Perry's on the temple mount like uh, Justin Bieber's not Justin Bieber's on the Mount of Olives which is outside the walls of Jerusalem so it was my way of raiding people. Um, cause I had nothing to do. So I was talking for hours and I was rating musicians. And so when I told Sean, he didn't make the communion list, that means he doesn't have one song that makes the list, but that your one song has to be a very high quality song. Like it has to be like, pow, like take courage. Cause Christine DeMarco, is she on the temple, temple Mount? She's not, she's on the communion list, but she made it in Jerusalem. So I'm trying to get Sean to earn his way into Jerusalem through evangelism but Sean doesn't believe that Jesus is going to come back to life in a physical form. Or he does. He, he thinks Jesus is coming back. But if Jesus comes back, he's going to be riding on a cloud, right? How are you going to know it's Jesus? I don't know. The problem is this atheist guy is reaching out to you and saying, Hey, Jesus is this guy wide awake. And what I'll tell you is um, that guy cares about gay people. Like he, he, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's for gay marriage. Like, I don't know for sure, but I, I'd be shocked. Um, what I'll tell you is that guy is not a down the line Republican, like a lot of Republicans. And so, all right. So I'm trying to get Sean to join my team. Cause I, every time I see these crowds, I think to myself, wow, I feel like my society is trying to kill me. I feel like I, I have, I live in a world full of people that, can't handle the being cooped up thing so much that they're, they, they go out in such an extreme way. It's one thing to be like, I, I, I can't take being cooped up anymore. I'm going to go to the forest by myself. That's one thing. It's another thing to go, okay, I can't handle being cooped up. What I'm going to do is pack into a small crowd and we're going to all lay hands on each other. And we're not even going to know each other. We're going to all pray together and stuff. And we're going to sing together, which involves pr pushing what would be a virus out of our lungs. So um, I'm trying to figure out how to change these people's minds and trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to convince them to take COVID-19 seriously because I don't think COVID-19 is necessarily about the seven days that you're sick. Uh, I think COVID-19 is about the year that you could have being very, having all sorts of complications pop up or, or the rest of your life having all sorts of complications pop up because we don't know about the neurological effects of COVID-19 yet. Sean apparently does because he knows Jesus would never do something to, like that to us. Well, I'm just saying Jesus isn't in charge. God is, and God is a freaking prick. And I know like you think God's nice, but you don't understand. Like try being one of God's clones where like we have been around for a very long time. We, we live on different, we, we have like multiple planets. By the way, my grandfather's from Reading. 
right in California, and that's where you're from. So you probably got clones amongst you, which means you might have feds amongst you, which means that you might have a friend who is like trying to fake like they're your friend so that they can spy on you, but the good news is that gives you an opportunity to talk to them about Jesus. All right, so um, what I'm trying to say is um, I'm trying to convince the Christians to come join my cause and Okay, well, actually what I was trying to say is God in the, in the Old Testament is very willing to kill very large amounts of people. And yes, um, the rainbow means that um, God won't kill everyone on the planet again, like every single person. But the rainbow doesn't mean that God won't let a massive amount of people die. And, if you, and, and God gave you logic for a reason and your logic should go out and read some science stuff with a neuroscientist who can explain the research that they're seeing. All right, so... I'm trying to get the Christians to come join the team. I'm trying to get the Christians to shut down their churches on Sunday and open up their churches seven days a week to people who are affected by COVID-19. Not necessarily people that are actually infected, but it could be like you get infected, you live at home, you're not sick enough to go to the hospital, but you live with a family, you can go stay at the church. We have a part of the church that's section, that, that's cordoned off. We'll even feed you. Um, that's, what, that's what I want the church to do. And so I think that we need a constitutional amendment to, for, to force the churches to do that because I, I don't, because I'm a firm believer in the Constitution. I'm, I'm fir, a firm believer in religious liberty. I think that Sean has a legal right to assemble and worship with a group of people. And there's nothing I can do about it unless we change the Constitution. And I'm for changing the Constitution. So, Sean, do you think that Jesus is physical? Like, he, do you think Jesus was a physical human being, 100% human being? Yes, you do, because that's what the Nicene Creed, Creed says. Everyone agrees on it. Do you think Jesus was fully God? You do. I don't. Do you think that Jesus is coming back in a physical form? How are you going to know it's Jesus? Is it because he's going to agree with you on everything? Is it, is it because he's going to be very loud and vocal? Do you think Jesus could be someone that just wants to mind his own business and be happy and have friends and live a simple life? He probably is, so um, probably no one actually gets to meet him, because I, I have, so you don't probably.